everyone, Julian here. Welcome to the special edition of Weekly Guitar Meeting at Zika's Guitars. And it's a special edition because we have several anniversary models today. And of course, the incredible Hermann Hauser One guitar. Let's start. And here it is. This is a guitar made by the legendary German guitar luthier Hermann Hauser. Hermann Hauser 1, so the first generation, and this is from 1927. And there are a few things to say about this guitar. This guitar is a Zegovia model, and you can also read in the label of this guitar, Manu Propria. It means that this guitar has been built by Hermann Hauser himself. Yeah, this is a Zegovia model. You can see it also in the guitar head. It's very similar to a Manuel Ramirez guitar from 1912. The reason is that uh, Zegovia asked Hermann Hauser to build guitars more in a Spanish way and uh, based on 1912 Manuel Ramirez guitars. This guitar was built for Adi Hauk, a guitar teacher from Hamburg. And this Hauser guitar, in particular this one, was also very well known in Hamburg at that time. And during the research of the origin of this guitar, in communication with some independent and different sources, some information arose that this guitar might have been played by Zegovia, Julian Bream and Luisa Valka in concerts. Wow. So when I hear that, I am I feel so honored to have this guitar in my hands and to be allowed to play a few notes on it. So this is a truly special guitar and uh, enough talking. Let's see how the guitar performs. My apologies, I was so blown away by the story of this guitar that I forgot to tell about the woods of this guitar. So it has a spruce top and Madagascar back and Indian rosewood sides. It was also very typical for Hausa, this Hausa model guitars at that time. And yeah, let's see how it sounds. I don't know what to say. It sounds different, very different than every guitar that I've played until now. Some new resonance, some the the response is so fast and also the basses, it's it's like a new not a new instrument, but uh I will play more on it and maybe you can help me to describe the sound. First of all, 
I hear so many overtones that I didn't hear in other guitars. This is... And also, it's a very loud guitar, traditional, but very loud. Okay, I will say it like this. I have the feeling that I'm playing for the first time a very, very well-balanced guitar. Somehow it opens my ears and my mind and my musical hearing. I try to play one more piece on it and then we move to the next guitar. The next guitar is made by the British guitar luthier Kevin Aram and uh, this guitar is from 2018 and the name of this guitar is Frankie and it's the 40 series, 40 series model and that's because Kevin Aram has built four guitars and this is the first one of them, he has built four guitars which are kind of dedicated to his work as a guitar luthier during these 40 years. And this is the first of those four guitars. And uh, as I said, it's from 2018. It has a cedar top and English 
you. Beautiful. I've never seen this wood before and uh, it's very beautiful. And this guitar has an oil finishing. Very light, very nice guitar and let's see how it sounds. Wow, this guitar is breathing. It has such an airy sound, but it's not nasal. It's at the same time very open, very clear in the tones, very good tone separation and very loud. Wow, I'm very impressed. Also this one, this guitar is, it amazed me exactly like the Hauser guitar. It's um, because I didn't expect this kind of sound of this guitar because of the cedar and the English U and um, but it sounds very loud but it's very clear. I mean, as I said, the tone separation is great and you can hear every tone. It's bright but it's not harsh. and you can create a lot of colors. Also great sustain, great response and I have the feeling that in every position the tone is has the same loudness as a chord with open strings and this shows how well balanced this guitar is and how well this guitar resonates in all the frequencies. <laughs> A 2018 Kevin Aram guitar 
well, congrats to him for this work. And uh, please also let me know what do you think about the sound of this one. As I said, it sounds... I expected a very dark sound because of the cedar top, but it sounds bright, but at the same time smooth, if you want. And it's very loud and it has a very airy and bassy sound. Let's move to the next guitar. This guitar is made by Masaki Sakurai from Japan and this is the PC Maestro number 18 model but this guitar is a special model it has been built in the year 2021 it's brand new but it has been built in 2021 and this is a 77th anniversary model so commemoration 77th commemoration and this guitar series, this anniversary models, have been built only in the year 2021. So you won't find this guitar in 2023. And um, it's a beautiful guitar. You can see a lot of nice decorations and it's very light. A lot of beautiful aesthetical ideas and um, we have a spruce top on this guitar and Madagascar rosewood back and sides. And it has also a shorter scale. It has a 64 centimeter scale. Let's see how the guitar sounds. Beautiful sound, really. This guitar has a very gentle sound and a very soft and fast response. And it reacts also very well. I mean, okay, reacting very well and fast is the same as response. And you can also feel the whole resonance of the guitar through your body. Very full bodied sound. Thank you. 
This guitar made by Paco Santiago Marin, the very well-known Spanish guitar luthier, is also an anniversary model. It's the 50th anniversary model from 2019. And this guitar sounds for sure very Spanish. This is a Spanish sounding guitar. And uh, we have a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. Let's see how Spanish it sounds. Yeah, straight away you have that Spanish vibe because of the punchy and the bright sound. Which still sounds very pleasing to the ears. And the interesting thing about this guitar is um, usually the very traditional and Spanish sounding guitars are not that loud. But this guitar is a very loud guitar, but still with a great tone separation and clarity.
what a lovely guitar to play. Somehow you, you feel home if you play this guitar. It has a very familiar sound to our ears, I think, because, yeah, at the end, it's a traditionally sounding guitar or traditionally built guitar and sounding. But um, it has, to be honest, some element of the modern sounding guitar. It can sound very smooth, it's powerful, and it has everything what you need in a big concert hall. And let's move to the last guitar of this week. And the last guitar of this week is made by the German guitar luthier, Karl Hermann Schäfer. And uh, we have had several guitars by Karl Hermann Schäfer in our shop already, and they are all truly beautiful guitars and this is a brand new one from 2023 it has a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides it's a very light guitar and uh, also a very traditional guitar so you will hear it by yourself The first thing what I notice is the great tone separation and also the sustain. It's a very even sustain in all the frequencies. So once again, the tone separation on this guitar is amazing. You can hear every interval and every tone in a chord. And um, this is a very important point if you are playing yeah, some complicated pieces with a lot of harmonies and melodies in the chords. And uh, wow, fantastic.
So it was the last guitar of this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly guitar meeting. If you did that, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you didn't do that already. And the most important thing, let me know in the comments what do you hear and how you rate the sound of these guitars. It also helps me personally a lot sometimes to find new way of describing the sound of the guitars when I'm reading the comments. Thanks for watching, have a nice weekend and see you next week.